Oh, check this out, you guys. Big money tings over here in Trinidad. My God, what island is this, bro? This is Balmoral Bay. Balmoral? Yeah, Balmoral Bay. Balmoral Bay, guys. Here we are. Welcome back to a new video. And oh my God, what a sight. Again, Venezuela is just right over there. We just left the jetty where we were at yesterday. And today, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of what Trinidad has to offer. Look at the wealth over here, the money. These are definitely multi-million dollar homes. I like this one here on the corner. You can see on the window, it looks like on the far right, it has a nice sort of like emerald blue circular window. That looks very, very beautiful. These look similar to the homes that we've seen um, over in the Keys, you guys. Check this out. This is beautiful. This house right here has a whole just frontal window right here. I know that's got to cost some money if one of those break, right? But, yo, are these like vacation homes, rentals, or people... Personal vacation home. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have big money for that. That's amazing. And, yeah, and check out and check out this retaining wall right here. Just imagine how long and how much manpower it took them to build this type of structure. Absolutely amazing. This is one thing I love about traveling the world is as I was on the boat and we were coming here, you know, looking over here, that's the mountains of Venezuela. We have oil refineries over here, cargo ships and things off in the distance. So these are just some perks that you get to have while traveling. You can see beautiful sites like these, tap in with the locals and, you know, they can take you around to do things like these. So we're going to carry on. I think we're going to see maybe a couple houses today. This vlog is just going to be a chill one, nothing too, too special. Um, so we're gonna go around this little island right here and maybe see some other ones and see a couple houses see what they got to offer so definitely oh really you guys heard that Issa you feeling that okay so maybe we might go check out Venezuela real close but look at this look at the look at the look look at the house over here house is absolutely beautiful imagine having that just tucked off you can have your plants growing over there farming man and look i was looking at this guy earlier he was on his boat just chilling on the back on the back just relaxing driving the boat <laughs> with one hand but yeah beautiful day i'm happy the weather's cooperating today too because the past yeah the past two days it's been raining 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 so today's looking very good so all right sit back relax and vamos check out this view you guys right here we were just out there and i was showing you guys the view inside of here we just got off the boat this beautiful house he said his friend is doing some work here some of these homes here you're actually able to rent so i think he said maybe like a thousand trinidadian a night maybe two thousand check out the check out the pool right here the pool over there looks sick Oh my God. And yo, what I noticed is that over here, um, like I jumped into that pool last night and the guy was saying that over here, uh, they do saltwater pools because the freshwater pools are too expensive to keep up, like maintenance and things like that. So it makes sense, but check out the integrity infrastructure of this house is absolutely amazing. I mean, as they would be probably, the houses along here have to be built very, very, sturdy this place is amazing you got your steps right here hello Dang. can you imagine having a little party right here just liming chilling relaxing with your friends this would be nice i wish i could go over there and show you guys that property because that place right there look i'll put the camera out oh i'll put the camera out that pool looks so nice that pool looks so nice it looks deep too wow it's crazy to think i'm still i'm still bugging out that i'm so close to venezuela like i keep thinking of wow i'm in trinidad and tobago like this is actually crazy i've seen so many things about this place on tv you know, just the beautiful beaches over in Tobago, the beautiful waterfalls. So this is definitely something that we're gonna have to check out while we're here in this country. Check this out. I'm not sure where this is gonna lead me to. Oh, 
So this is the back. Check out this plant right here. This plant is massive. I want to see if we can go over to check out this other house. Yeah, it looks like we can. So we're going to go check out this other house right now. Now this is the one next door. And again, he said you guys can rent these. Oh, the house that we saw in the bay over there, he said was the owner of, uh, I think, Black Label, like rum or something like that. So again, another beautiful view. He also said you can rent that white house over there and this gray house right here in the middle. So I could definitely, definitely see myself. Well, again, I don't really know anyone here. I don't know too much about the country, but I can see myself living in a spot like this this looks very very nice very peaceful depending on how the soil is right here oh 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 my god yo oh my god oh my god yo my heart just dropped yo i oh yo mad iguanas oh my god yo as soon as i as soon as i walked in the in the grass right here i heard and you guys seen it on the camera and when I looked at the ground I seen everything running away yo that was crazy so these are Trinidadian iguanas huh I seen some jump in the water over here let's see if we can get a look oh my god I ain't gonna lie my heart hasn't been pumping like that since I went into the cave in Jamaica but that right there got me shook up I don't see any over here I see a little crab right there. Yo, that was crazy. And I heard I heard like a doom. Like I heard him jump in the water right here. Nah, that was crazy. And I'm gonna stop playing. I'm gonna bring my butt back over there before I get bit by something that I don't need to get bit by because I ain't got no business out here in this nature. I heard Trinidad got um I heard Trinidad got poisonous snakes, poisonous frogs, poisonous spiders, and things like that. So I ain't even about to be playing around today. Let's carry on. All right, guys, it seems like right now we're coming up on this island over here, or this inlet, it's called Shaki Shikari. Something very interesting too to note, this island right here in front of me, uh, he was saying that people with, the, what do you guys call it, leprous? Leprosy. Leprosy, well, people with leprous, or leprosy, excuse me. But you, yeah, the skin disease. They used to stay on this island. And I think, I think in America, off the coast, off the east coast, I feel like we used to have a, have a place like this as well. Drop down in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this way right here will take you to Tobago. So if you just cross over the inlet right there, cut, cut through there, it'll take you to Tobago. We might do that another day, but here we are. This mountain range we see right in front of us is uh, Venezuela. And I guess we're getting kind of close, but we can't get too close. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe some pirates will come out and take our things. I won't be coming back with a GoPro, that's for sure. And technically, it's about, from where we left, it's about like a 10 minute ride, I guess, to where we're going. But he said maybe a full 20 minute ride to fully reach like Venezuela. So something very interesting to know. Also, I think at one point in time in history, um, Trinidad and Tobago was connected to, well, like was a part of Venezuela, but then people came and took it over so that's why it's so close to here check this out you guys cactuses all right here on this island he was saying that um, as you get closer to Venezuela or in different parts it kind of looks more like deserty like the landscape changes and things like that he also made an interesting point that that's why so many people back in the day wanted Trinidad because it's very mountainous so from the top of the mountains you can make your forts your lookouts and you can see when your enemy is coming from far, far away in the distance. So, very nice. Real Trinidad and Tobago right here. This is pure beauty. Could you imagine the indigenous people that lived here back in the day? Trapping, getting food. This is beautiful. Guys, that's the gateway right there to South America. That's Venezuela just right over there look how mountainous that terrain is wow never in my life this is a moment i had to record never in my life did i think i would visit venezuela and i'm not and i'm not going to but it's right there this is as close as maybe i'll ever get maybe one day i can visit this country but wow 
amazing and we can't get too close because you know we were just talking about pirates and piracy and they can definitely see us right now we can't see them they're just trying to see who's asleep at the wheel before they come out here and take over but absolutely beautiful maybe the side of trinidad you guys don't see you know what i mean people hear too many things in the news and things like that and bad things happen all over the world but check out the beauty this is also trinidad right over here and then Venezuela, right over here. I'm just blessed to be living a life like this, all the way from Asia to South America. I'm really touching continents, I'm really doing it. It's crazy. Yo, that's crazy, he said that that's a cargo boat. It might be going to Tobago right now. It could take six to seven hours to get there. Check this out, you guys. I think right now we're on Monos Island. Monos, Monos Island? Monos Island? Like Monkey Island. You gotta have some money to live over here. This place is absolutely beautiful. I could see myself living in a place like this one right over here. I like how it's built up on the hill has palm trees surrounding it, beautiful greenery all <clears throat> around this island. I actually think this island is nicer than the last one we came to. So can you imagine that? He was also telling me, or actually, if you think about it, these people right here, the way we got here obviously was by the boat. There's no cars here. You know, um, the jetty that we came from is just over there. So these people, they come here. He said that some people, they work Monday through Friday, and then they just come here during the weekend. And they just chill here with their family, barbecue, grill. I mean, why not? That's something that I do too. There's no cars on this island, so you need to bring all your provisions when you come in one go. And he even said that if not, that you can call people like him or people who do own boats and they might make like grocery runs for you and things like that. So obviously for a little fee, but I mean, come on, when you're out here, you're gonna need what you're gonna need. This place is absolutely amazing. I like these two white houses over here. And, and very, very modern, more of a modern touch. Some of these houses are very old, like the one over here, the white and green one looks kind of like an older house, but, oh, guys, it's beautiful. Check out the birds flying on top. And actually one of the islands that we passed by over there, he said that um, you, can, you can park there for the day and then hike across the whole top of the island that there's a good hiking trail there. So very interesting. I think right now what we're going to do is maybe try to blow this up and then uh, I, haven't been one, I haven't been on one of these in a long, long time. Maybe in about seven, eight years. So I hope I'm not out here about to break my back or something like that because your boy ain't got no travel insurance, but we're going to make it do what it do. So, <sighs> All right, guys. Right now, we just, uh, Jesse pumped up the air tube, so... Ah, hi, let's go. I haven't done this in mad long. So here we go. I'm gonna jump in the water and yeah. Oh. Oh, mm. I don't like being in water I can't see. <laughs> right though. <laughs> you never know what's in there.
where you went. Yo, that was crazy. Yo, that was crazy. I'm gonna get one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you guys, I was holding on as tight as I could. Swinging around. All right, one more, one more. Woo. an hour that was crazy your boy is beat i gotta get back on the boat oh, i'm so tired i'm absolutely drained that takes a lot out of you Whew. outside like right now so we're just gonna go catch the sunset here in the bay and just chill i got my little bun up right now we're gonna make it happen so we just leaving the bay. We just dropped off uh, some people that he was bringing around. It's funny when you come out here on the boat, people to do two jobs in one. So he dropped off some people, brought them to their houses. Actually, one of his friends owns an HVAC company. So I was, that's the houses you guys saw today. That's why I was in those, you know, communities in the bay. Gotta have money to be out here. Gotta have money to be out here. Is this where the rich hide in Trinidad and Tobago? I'm not sure, but look at the dog on the boat with the dinghy. That is so funny. Oh my God. So people just come out here and live in these um, catamarans or things like this. Like I said, sailors from all around the world come here and then they take their little dinghies in here to get fresh provisions and things like that and then go back out. So right now we're gonna go catch the sunset. Check out the view. Right now, absolutely beautiful. I didn't realize Trinidad and Tobago was so mountainous until I came here, yo. But I'm loving it so far. The natural beauty, again, just like everywhere else I go, it's very, very beautiful. Can you guys see in the top of that tree up there? Oh, there it goes right there. I was wondering what kind of birds those were. So maybe like seagulls or, or, or something like this. Oh, look at, look at the size. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's cactuses the size of the trees over there, yo. Insane. I don't know, I find weird stuff like this interesting. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Right along the water. Man, that's so nice. The natural beauty of Trinidad. Today was a good day. We just kicked it, naturally. Uh, saw some nice houses, saw the rich side, saw where the money is, learned some facts. Went over, well, went and saw Venezuela. That was very interesting. Maybe one day on this channel we can go to Venezuela, maybe when things cool down or something like that. I don't know. So far, I'm really enjoying my time in Trinidad. This is the first vlog that I've made that I didn't eat in in a while, so interesting. He said that sometimes there's some dolphins that come up around here. He was just tapping the side of the boat trying to get them to come up, but for now, I'm just enjoying. I was gonna take my phone out earlier and take pictures, but I just decided to enjoy the moment, yo. I wonder what this boat, is this is this a passenger boat over here? Fisher. So we have a fishing boat over here, nice. What's your favorite thing about Trinidad? That's a hard question. That's a real hard question. There's so much, so much to enjoy, but this is definitely one of my favorite things about Trinidad. Being able to do this. 
what's your favorite thing about Trinidad so far? The people. The nail on the head, actually. That's what I said. The people, yeah. Yeah, the people make Trinidad, yo. Like, my first day, second day here, third day too, nothing but hospitable people. Always trying to help y'all. And customer service is good. <laughs> but then again, it could be because I'm a foreigner. We have to take these things into account, people. When I travel these countries, could it be because I'm a foreigner or could it be because this is how the people are? I genuinely think that this is how the people are. So we're gonna continue on. seen them put a boat up before in these in these marinas this is how they do it right here whoa that was almost a bad day check it out so this is the machine that this is the machine that picks the boats up, that puts them in their, uh, I guess, resting place for the night here at the marina. That is crazy. I've always wondered what type of machine does this. Now I can finally see it. That's gotta be a behemoth of a machine to move such size boats. Like, are you kidding me? And oh my God, can you imagine the, can you imagine how much it costs to put your boat here? My God, whoever owns this is making money. That's why the rich keep their boats here and then they go out and play in the bays. So that's gonna do it from here in beautiful Trinidad Tobago here at Power Boats Marina. We didn't catch any dolphins, but we had an eventful day. Saw some nice houses, did a little tubing. That was awesome. I haven't done that in a long time. So thank you. Tell a friend to tell a friend and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next one from here in beautiful Trinidad and Tobago. What is going on everyone? Today is a new day. After yesterday on the boat, I was absolutely shattered. I needed to get some sleep and I've been in Trinidad for about three days now. It feels like I've only slept for two hours. So I'm gonna show you what my Airbnb looks like. It's about 30 USD a night. So I'll give you guys a little tour of what it looks like in here. And you can see walking in, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cozy area. Uh, it's a two bedroom, one bath. You got Wi-Fi, you got a TV over here. You got your remote for the AC. AC is crucial when you're in these Caribbean countries because 
Oh my gosh, outside, absolutely ridiculous. I'm sweating bullets. You got a small chair right here to your left, little kitchen table. You have all the, um, all the amenities and things that you need. Toaster oven, microwave, what do we got up here? Oh, oh, we got left some crackers. I'm about to take those with me. What do we got? Some sugar, cafe roll, some coffee. Okay, you got cups, plates. And the people here are super nice. I'll drop the uh, location to this Airbnb down in the description. Um, and this is right next to, I'll take you guys, I'll show you guys the back and you guys will be able to see where I'm at. Right now I'm located in Woodbrook. So over there, there's like this nice shopping area that I'll show you guys. Well, I'll just show you what it looks like from here. But you have your stove top, which I've never seen something like this before. What is this? So you just, so you just fold, you just put this up while you use your stove top. Okay, that's interesting. I've never seen something like this before. Is this common in households here or? Let me know, but I think this is gas. Yeah, this is gas. So gas stoves are always the best. This also comes with a washer, dryer, Whirlpool. You know, they got them good products. Oh, with a complimentary soap bag we have right here. Okay, so I'll take you guys on to the room. Here's my room right here. It comes with an ironing board. You got an iron, you got your hangers and your towel. I just put my bag down right here. And the ladies came in this morning and cleaned up everything. So that was nice of them. And I also have another AC up here, a little nightstand. The bathroom over here is pretty nice as well. Check that out. Stand up shower. They come with your little soap, cotton balls, what is this, we got shampoo right here. So yeah, comes with everything you need, toilet paper. So yeah, like I said, I'm in Woodbrook and right now I'm gonna take you guys to the back and I'll show you um, this shopping mall center that they have over here that you can go to. I think this is kind of like, now drop down in the comments and let me know, but this, Part over here seems to be a little bit more of an upscale part you see this is the wood brick plaza right here so or wood brick woodbrook woodbrook or wood brick plaza right here and you can see the tall condominiums up there so yeah it's a hot hot day here in Trinidad I'm actually about to go back on the boat and um, bring you guys another adventure so so far, everything's been good. Uh, the one thing I need to get down though, it proper, is the public transportation system. And the ride sharing apps are just a little slow. Kind of like, you know, Uber back home works very, very fast. I don't know if that's um, due to like internet connection here or just the apps itself run slow. I'm not sure, but so far, all is well. I'm enjoying my time in Trinidad. Um, yeah, and I'm also excited to go to Tobago and see what that has to offer because so far everyone's been telling me go to Tobago go to Tobago so we're gonna go there and see there's also an IMAX movie theater over there can you guys see that so maybe we'll do a little vlog walking around there and the um, waterfront property that's over here that looks absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of food places around there too so again thank you guys for tuning in tell a friend to tell a friend i'm sorry if i didn't bring so much energy in the beginning or yesterday you know it was raining and i was trying to work with what we got but today's a beautiful day so it's time to go outside and shoot another masterpiece so again i thank you guys for supporting the channel um so again i thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll catch you guys on another one from here in beautiful trinidad and tobago